Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are making a mustard horseradish dip. We are going to make sausage puff pastry appetizers and we will dip them in this sauce, but you can use the sauce on anything you like. You can put it on a sandwich, you could dip things into it. It's absolutely delicious, it has a nice tang to it. So what we're going to do in a medium mixing bowl, I'm going to add half a cup of Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm then going to add in one fourth cup whole grain mustard, old style. You can change the flavor of this dip by adding in different types of mustard. So if you prefer to put in, say, a um, <laughs> what's that kind of mustard? Dijon, it's Dijon. <laughs> you wanna add in Dijon mustard? You could go ahead and do that. Sorry, my brain spaced out for a second. And it would change the flavor profile of it. Same thing if you wanted to use it, yellow mustard, that would change it as well. I like mine very tangy, so I am going to add in half of this container of horseradish. Let me measure it out for you so you know. It is one tablespoon. Two, three, it's about a fourth cup of horseradish, maybe slightly more. Then we are going to add in a pinch of salt, pinch of pepper, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon onion powder. We're going to go ahead and give that a good whisk. Once we have it all whisked together, we're going to give it a taste um, and see what we need to add to it. If you want it tangier, if you want more of the mustard flavor, you can bring that out as well. So give that a quick taste. Yum. So mine is very heavy on the horseradish side. If you want it to be less on the horseradish side, again, don't use as much. Use about two tablespoons. I am want to add a little bit of sweetness, so I'm going to give it a little drizzle of honey I'm down to the end. Excuse me. And mix that in. And that is it. Super easy, absolutely delicious. Has big flavor. I'm going to spread this on the inside of my pasta pastry. I'm going to paint it on. Then I'm going to add my sauces, sausage sausage mixture. I'll roll that up and cut it into little pieces and bake it. And then what's remaining we will have is the dipping sauce. So you can use it that way. You can add it on a deli sandwich. You can dip pretzels into it. Um, you can make soft pretzels. That would be delicious. Enjoy.